In this video, I'm going to show you the perfect morning routine in Qashqaish if you enjoy travel and fitness just like me. So let's get to enjoying this amazing village and still stay on top of our fitness goals. Let's get into it. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about today day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. Welcome to another video guys, I'm Sebastian and this channel is all about travel and fitness, good vibes, eating good food and doing a lot of physical activities. Today I'm taking you through a tour of a perfect morning routine in my home city, Kishkaish. It's not a city, it's a sort of a village because it is quite small. How do I recommend you start your morning off if you're an active, healthy person just like me? Number one, I would go to our amazing boardwalk. There's a boardwalk which goes all the way from Kishkaish to San Juan do Estoril. This boardwalk is almost three kilometers, so so it's a very very nice way to start the day so you can just walk go for a stroll enjoy the amazing views enjoy the ocean the ocean air and you can get a vibe absolutely lovely as you can see there are a bunch of people on their morning walk here it's very common both locals and tourists because i mean how can you beat this honestly it's an amazing amazing place so usually in the morning you actually do see quite a lot of people as you can see, plenty of people doing the same, starting their morning off with a nice walk, enjoying these views. Lots of doggies as well, always a plus. So depending on the length of the walk that you want to take, you can either start in Cascais and go all the way to the end in San Juan de Estoril, or you can just do whatever length you like, maybe half of it, for example. If it's sunny, you can take your shirt off and start your day off with a nice walking, tanning session as well. Starting the day off with a walk is an amazing way to start the day basically anywhere. But when you've got this amazing backdrop, this wonderful piece of nature that is Kishkaish, I think you might as well make the most of it. So honestly, there is not a better way to start your day off. We're gonna do a nice little walk around the boardwalk, do a little bit of a core routine, which I'll show you in a little bit, and then head for some coffee. Along the way, we've got two outdoor gyms, two outdoor jungle gyms, that sort of thing. One is in Monsturil in Praia de Khatam, and that is where we're going to do a nice little core routine to help us start the day off on the right foot as well. If you want to, you can go all the way to Praia da Poça in São João do Estoril, which is the second to last beach if you're starting from Cascais. And you also have another jungle gym where you can do a bunch of different exercises as well. So make the most out of it. After starting our day off in this really relaxing yet active kind of way, it's time for us to go and get some fuel. But I don't mean food yet. Let's go and get some coffee to this amazing place called House of Wonders. House of Wonders is this vegan brunch breakfast sort of thing. Not only is their establishment very characteristic, it's got, it's very, I don't know, rustic yet artsy. So beyond that and having good food, it has a very nice rooftop. Now on this day that I went, there was absolutely no one on the rooftop because it was a weekday during the morning, but also because it was very, very windy. So it is pretty windy, uh, but that's not the cafe's fault. It's a really, really nice vibe up here. So it's got all of this rural, homemade vibe to it. It's a really nice place to chill at, enjoy some sun, have a nice coffee. Mm. Nice cappuccino. Kishkaj can get pretty windy, but most of the time you'll be able to enjoy the rooftop very, very well. Also, House of Wonders is right in the middle of Kishkaj's most touristic area, very close to the Kishkaj Bay, very close to the station. So it's actually right in the middle of everything that you're probably going to be doing in Kishkaj. So I had my very nice coffee there. It was a bit pricey, but it is what it is. You're in the touristic area. Next, it's time to actually go to one of the main reasons why people visit Kishkaj, which is the beach. We're going to Praia de Duquesa. So this is literally two minutes away from the station on foot. Absolutely perfect. So what are we going to do to the beach? We are going to swim.
Obviously, if you're not a swimmer, if you don't enjoy swimming, you can just go for a nice dip and enjoy the ocean since you're here. I mean, you're in Kishkai, so you might as well make the most of it. But if you're not, please go and take a nice swim. If you like open water swimming, this beach is actually perfect because it's very sheltered because of the marina, so you don't have a lot of waves. It's actually great for you to get some laps in. I've just recently started swimming around three months ago, and so I'm a bit of a noob, but I still enjoy it a lot. Have a look at my latest video about how my swimming progress is going and how I'm getting ready for my first ever swim race. I've also been enjoying cold exposure a lot, so I do recommend that you go and take a dip in the sea regardless of it being summer or winter. During the winter, the water does not get that cold. I mean, it will go down to maybe 12 degrees, so it's not terrible. I highly incentivize you to go and take a nice dip in the Qashqai Sea. And now we're moving on to one of the most important parts, which is nourishment. Let's go and get some food. So on my way to Café Nicolau, which is this very nice brunch spot, there is actually another one in Lisbon, but they just opened up here in Kashkai. It's slightly outside the touristic center, about a 10 minute walk. It looks like a very, very good place to have a nice protein packed breakfast. Let's get going. In this video, I wanted to take you to somewhere where I actually have not been to yet, which is Café Nicolau. This is a brunch that just opened recently in Kishkaish, and they have a bunch of different options. You can go vegan, or you can have meat and eggs and stuff. It really depends on your taste. They have a bit of everything. I was actually very surprised. As I said, I went to do this on a weekday. I went here before midday, and it was packed, absolutely bustling. They have a nice terrace where they have a bunch of, of tables, and you can actually sit outside. And it was a lovely day. The sun was shining, but it was pretty pretty windy and then they have the inside area as well so that's where I ended up sitting because I wanted it to be a bit quieter because I wanted to film and also because it was pretty windy so I just stayed inside and the inside atmosphere is really really nice very nice decorations this brunch actually Café Nicolau is slightly further away from the touristic center than, than the other locations where we've been to during this video so to reach this cafe you actually need to climb a bit and it will be around 10 to 12 minutes walk from the touristic center depending on where you are but it is worth it what did I have? Let's have a look. Yeah guys, it's time to dig in. This looks absolutely amazing. Maple syrup pancakes. Maple syrup makes everything better, but the pancakes could be fluffier. Now let's have a taste of these eggs. I had these nice eggs benedict and I also ordered some nice pancakes with maple syrup. Then I had a lemonade with passion fruit as well. The lemonade, honestly, I, I won't be ordering again because it was pretty bitter. I had to put three packets of sugar in there and it was still too bitter for my liking. But the eggs benedict were pretty good. Eight euros, I think it's a solid choice. The pancakes, maple syrup makes everything better. There's no doubt about that. But the pancakes could have been fluffier. Under six euros, so it wasn't too expensive, but I don't think I will be ordering the pancakes again. But honestly, I couldn't recommend this place more. It's super cozy, the staff were really, really friendly. The prices are affordable. I mean, everything is skyrocketing now, but my meal was less than 15 euros, which is great if you have a look at what I ate. Very tasty, and it, it is relatively central as well, just a short 10 minute walk, and it will also allow you to have a look at different places outside of the touristic center, which I think is always a plus, because you, you get to see how people who live in Kashkaj actually live, and you don't just see all the tourists and the hustle and bustle, so it really is worth the hike. I'm biased, Kashkaj is my hometown, so I really couldn't recommend you visit this place anymore, so please do come enjoy all of the things we have to offer. I also have this video about how Kashkaj is the perfect sports paradise, so go and have a look at this video if you're an active person like me. And that is all from me in this video. Please stay tuned because I'm going to do a lot more content about Kashkaj. I want people to know about this amazing place and I'm sure you're gonna love it. So if you've already visited, please leave me your thoughts and opinions, what you did in the comment section. I would love to read and have a chat about it. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That is all from me. I will see you in the next one.